Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the new lecture on medicinal chemistry. In this video lecture, I am going to discuss with you about the medicinal chemistry of local anesthetics. Local anesthetics are those drugs that are applied to the peripheral nerve tissues. Their purpose is to block the conduction of nerve impulse and all the sensation that is being supplied to that particular area by the nerves. So basically they are blocking all the nerve impulse or the messages of the neuron towards that particular area in order to relieve the patient from the pain. So they are basically involved in the temporary relief of pain when applied topically. They are used in the different clinical fields like dentistry, ophthalmology and other minor surgical operations like endoscopy, a, and their main purpose is to relieve the pain of the patient and they are also useful in the relief of the pain uh, in certain cases of insect bite, burns and other surface wound. Beside this, if we are looking at their chemistry, the local anesthetic drugs are mostly weak bases. Means they are weak bases like lidocaine, xylocaine, they are mostly consist of the weak bases neither uh, neither strong bases are acids. So basically they consist of the lipophilic group that is connected to an other intermediate chain molecule and one of the tertiary amino group. We will look in the detail in the SAR of the local anesthetics. Local anesthetics in clinical practice are um, used in conjunction with the vasoconstrictor agent like the epinephrine, norepinephrine or the phenylepinephrine. Their purpose, uh, the purpose of using vasoconstrictor with the local anesthetic is to decrease the rate of absorption and to prolong the action of the local anesthetics and decrease their systemic toxicity because vasoconstrictic are going to constrict the blood vessel to that particular area and uh, by doing this they are lowering the absorption or decreasing the rate of absorption of uh, our local anesthetic duct towards the systemic circulation by constricting the capillaries in that particular injected area and uh, anesthetics with the epinephrine are used for the infiltration anesthesia that is the apply of the uh, anesthetic drug directly to the subcutaneous tissue and uh, this will result in the lower plasma level of the anesthetic by decreasing the systemic toxicity due to the vasoconstrictor effect of the epinephrine mode of action of local anesthetic or their mechanism of action their main action is to block the nerve impulse conduction so they are doing this by blocking the sodium channel or by preventing the sodium depolarization how because uh, by their action they are going to pump out the sodium ion from the nerve fiber and at the same time potassium ion are transported into the fiber so this is how certain biochemical changes takes place inside that particular nerve area and uh, uh, the nerve impulse is being blocked so mainly the local anesthetic are going to decrease the permeability of the cell membrane towards the sodium by the prevention of the sodium depolarization classification of local anesthetic local anesthetics are classified into various classes depending on their source like there are some of the local anesthetic they are obtained from the natural source that is the plant source the example is the cocaine beside this there are many other example of the drugs that belongs to the category of synthetic local anesthetic agents they are basically synthesized from certain type of chemical substitution at the different chemical compound like some of the local anesthetic are consisting of the nitrogenous compound means their structure contain the nitrogen whether it may be present in their cyclic ring or in their chain structure for example let's consider the one of the class that is the derivative of benzoic acid the local anesthetic like piprocaine isobucane, heptylcaine, 
and hexyl care belongs to the class of derivative of benzoic acid means in their structure they have the benzoic acid ring nucleus and other example of local anesthetic is the derivative of para amino benzoic acid means they have the para position amino group or the four amino group in their benzoic acid structure the example are tetracan benzocan procan and chloroprocan they are further subdivided on the basis of their solubility some are freely soluble and some are poorly soluble benzocan and orthocan are the example of local anesthetic that are poorly soluble in the solvent and the freely soluble contain the example of procan and amethocan there is another chemical class that consists of the derivative of acetanilide means in their ring structure the acetanilide ring will be present the example are lignocan mepivacan bupivacan prilocan and the achidocan the quinolone derivative of local anesthetic include the cinchone cinchocan and the dimethysocan so these uh, basically consist of the quinoline ring in their chemical structure there are uh, certain other synthetic derivatives that are basically non nitrogenous compound means uh, their structure do not contain any nitrogen atom the example are benzyl alcohol and the propendiol so the synthetic derivative we have seen that the main classes are the some are containing the nitrogen and some are the non nitrogenous so all these quinoline acetanilide derivative and uh, what we have discussed previously consist of the nitrogen uh, their ring structure are in their chemical structure besides this there are certain other miscellaneous drugs which have the local action or the local anesthetic effect the example are the chloroquin phenol chlorpromazine and the certain antihistamine for example the diphenhydramine so this was about the classification of the local anesthetics